Hello, everyone. Welcome to News Now, the Belmont Journal's daily update on what's going on in the community of Belmont. I'm your host, Roger Colton. I have with me today a team of uh, environmental engineering and uh, civil engineering graduate students from Northeastern University. This team won a student design award from the Water Environmental Federation. Thanks for joining us, Samantha Kennelly, Emily, Emma Town Sobu, Kate Angler, and Anne Lamonte. Samantha, let's start out with you. Tell us what this international award was. Sure. Um, hello, thanks for having us. Um, so we submitted our uh, senior design project, which is our capstone and our uh, last requirement to graduate um, first to uh, NUIA, the New England Water Environment Association student design competition. Um, and then uh, by winning that, we qualified to compete in the international competition, which was from the Water Environment Federation. Um, but we were presented with a request for a proposal from the Belmont Conservation Commission to look at uh, designing and improving a stormwater management system, um, among other improvements for Rock Meadow um, conservation area. So we focused on the entrance area and um, tackled uh, some green infrastructure for uh, the commission. Emma, let's go to you. Uh, Emma uh, Tosubo, uh, let me see if I can get your name a little bit better this time. Uh, one of the important aspects of this was the, the green infrastructure aspects. Can you tell us what you mean by that? Um, yeah, so it was all to uh, treat stormwater runoff that was coming off of the parking lot. Um, actually, Kate over there, she did a lot of the design for the green infrastructure. She could probably uh, give you an overview better than I could. Okay, Kate Engler, the, tell us, what, what is great, uh, green infrastructure? Yeah, basically it's a way to um, manage the stormwater using um, the natural environment and mimicking what naturally exists already. So using um, plants and digging ditches in the dirt as opposed to putting in hard infrastructure to take care of your water management. So what we did was, um, well, the driveway into Rock Meadow previously was very steeply sloped. So a lot of water could run off um, from that parking, from that driveway right into the parking lot, which um, was very uneven. So it could pool water and there was a lot of um, erosion in the parking lot that we witnessed. So what we did was we, um, tried to tackle the two different areas by um, using different green infrastructure methods, including um, a vegetative filter strip, which is basically like a large grassy area where the water can flow through and infiltrate. And then a bioswale, which is basically um, a ditch, but a engineered ditch <laughs> filled with plants for the water to run through and finally end in a nice rain garden, which can be um, a nice addition to the conservation area and infiltrate all of the storm water. Annie Lamont, uh, this parking lot is sitting on the edge of uh, one of the largest conservation properties uh, uh, in Belmont. Why is it important to uh, to address the the parking lot? Um, yeah, so we actually did some research into the parking lot itself. We went on a site visit in January of 2020, and we found that um, the parking lot was really undersized, and it really wasn't a pleasant experience experience um, to the entrance of Rock Meadow. So we, we wanted to improve the um, overall aesthetic and also increase the parking. So um, there are about 12 parking spaces currently in Rock Meadow and we increased that to be about 26 and also included two specific van accessible handicap parking spaces along with the other improvements that we, we um, designed for. So did, uh, did the team approach Belmont asking or suggesting that you use Belmont uh, as your design project or did the Conservation Commission approach Northeastern University? Yeah, the Belmont Conservation Commission approached uh, Northeastern uh, Civil and Environmental Engineering Department. And that's how um, we got started working with them. And we were actually able to attend a meeting of the Belmont Conservation Commission um, right before um, we kind of started feeling the impacts of COVID-19. Um, 
And we were able to present our findings and get some feedback and redirect um, as we finished up our design. Emma, can you tell us um, a little about the collaboration between the Conservation Commission and, and the team? Um, yeah, the Conservation Commission was really helpful, um, you know, guiding us through our design since we're, uh, none of us are from Belmont, we're not too familiar with the area, but they um, really made us feel confident in uh, what the community wanted and what, um, what they wanted for this parking lot. I think it was kind of a point of contention how ugly it used to be. And so, you know, we wanted to make it uh, a nice place to visit because it is like a really uh, heavy, heavily trafficked um, nature area for a lot of people in the area. Uh, so they helped us kind of gauge what the public wanted and what they were hoping to get out of their uh, new design. Kate, I wanna come back to you too. Uh, there is, there was uh, an international award for what, uh, what you four did with the Belmont parking lot. Is there a broader implication, however, uh, in showing how green infrastructure can be uh, designed with parking lots, uh, showing other people how it can and should be done? Yeah, I think we definitely hope so. When we came into this project, one of the things that also um, the Conservation Commission was very um, passionate about as well, was having this design be as green as possible. So sustainability was very high up on our um, criteria of what we wanted to get out of this project. Um, so yeah, we use completely all green infrastructure and um, I think we came up with a really great design. It definitely, um, we also designed for varying conditions um, to make sure that there'd be no overflow, nothing like that. So we really hope that this can be like a great example project of how you can make a really beautiful, really sustainable and very functional um, parking lot green infrastructure. To uh, any of the four of you, did you need to consider the finances uh, of uh, what a, a green design would cost? I, this isn't a, the question behind the question, this isn't a theoretical project. You needed to consider the practicalities of it as well. Uh, Yes, definitely. Um, cost was, um, Kate mentioned another one of our cr key criteria that we use to evaluate the designs, but cost was um, also um, up there. Uh, we included in our report to both the Belmont Conservation Commission and the competition judges um, a detailed uh, cost estimate um, using um, data from the industry as well as um, the Department of Transportation. Um, and uh, that was uh, submitted. Did anybody from the town work with you to talk about actually implementing uh, this design? What, uh, you know, what, what is the next step? Do you, do you move forward with implementation now? Uh, that's definitely the goal. Um, it was submitted to the Conservation Commission with the hopes of that, um, but uh, COVID uh, kind of threw a wrench in everyone's plans. Um, but now that uh, they have uh, a full set of construction documents and specifications, um, we're optimistic that uh, the ball can get rolling a lot faster on that um, and things will move forward with our design. What, uh, Annie, let me come back to you with a final question. This is a tremendous benefit to Belmont, but it was an educational project uh, as well. What did the team learn uh, uh, from this project? Uh, we learned so much just about what it would be like to have to design a, an entirely new, you know, parking lot just because despite our, you know, previous internship experience, we'd never actually done this on our own. So um, having to learn the local regulations, read the zoning bylaw, try to decipher the zoning bylaw, um, and just come up with the design was just a huge learning experience for us. And it taught us a lot about communication and um, making group decisions and getting input from outside sources because, you know, we had that, we did have a survey with um, members of the town and members of the Conservation Commission to kind of figure out which direction they wanted to go, if they wanted to expand the parking lot or just move it completely. 
um, what kind of uh, amenities they wanted on site. So um, yeah, honestly, just <laughs> such a huge learning experience. It was, it was really great. Well, thanks for uh, joining us today. We've been joined by Samantha Kennelly, uh, Emma Tosu Bo, Kate Engler, and Annie Lamont, the four engineering, civil engineering and environmental engineering graduate students from Northeastern University who just won an international award for their design of a green parking lot for the town of Belmont. You've been watching News Now, the Belmont Journal's daily update on what's going on in the community of Belmont. Thanks for watching. I'm your host, Roger Colton. I'll talk with you again next time.